Today we are going to do a DIY melt and pour soap for Valentine's Day. Um, I am going to do three different things actually. We're going to do a soap, we're going to do a lotion, and we are going to do a whipped body scrubbed. All peach flavor, flavor, <laughs> peach scent. It smells so good, it makes you want to eat it. Um, I'm putting this together for actually for my son's girlfriend for Valentine's Day. So again, it'll have um, peach soap, peach lotion, peach whipped body scrub. And then this is so cute. He wanted to add in some peach candy, of course, not into the products, but just to go along with the products. Super cute idea, right guys? All right, so for the soap, all you'll need is your melt and pour soap base. Today I'm using shea butter. I have my peach scent in here, my container that I'm gonna melt the, the uh, melt and pour in, this to stir it, and a little orange colorant. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna first start with cutting the, um, the soap up. Okay, so we're gonna take our melt and pour soap, and I'm just gonna cut a little bit because I'm only doing one bar of soap. Okay, this is gonna go into the microwave for 30 seconds and I'll be right back. So it's pretty much melted down. I'm just gonna stir it just to melt the rest of the soap. I'm gonna go ahead and add the scent in. All right, so I do want this to have two colors in it. I want, I want it to have the white color of the shea butter, and then I wanna have a little orange color. Hopefully it comes out like a peachy color, not too orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some of the soap in here. Just see what color that comes out. That's super orange. Hmm. I think I'm gonna add some more soap into into this one. I want it to be more of a peach color, not not an orange, let's come back to that. All right guys, so I definitely think adding that extra soap into here kind of calmed down the orange color. So it looks more like a peach color or just a light orange, but I definitely did not want it to be bright orange. Yeah, I like that much better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, just a little spray there, and we're gonna start pouring these in. Okay, 
it how it looks a little messy. Get these bubbles out of here. I don't know what happened. I might have poured it a little too hot. You guys let me know what you think. I do have a little bit left in here. I'll just pour a little here and I'll make myself a little small soap. So that didn't come out with as many bubbles. Do y'all see that? That actually came out pretty nice. Alright you guys, so I did not show the entire part of me making my lotion, but here I'm just really mixing it up until it gets to the consistency that I like. And once I get to that point, I'll then add in my scent. In a big batch of this, I have a blender. All right, you guys, see how creamy that looks? It did take me about 15 minutes just to stir this up. It is definitely better to use my blender. So we're gonna go ahead and test this now. Oh yeah, that feels good. I was gonna do it on both hands, but I wanna show you guys the difference in my hands after. Oh yeah, that is perfect consistency. Oh, can you see my hands? Let me see the way. So this is the one that we just put the lotion on, and this is the one without lotion. See the difference? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in our scent. So we're gonna go ahead and put our lotion in this bottle today. I have already sanitized the bottle. Okay, and we're gonna use this to fill up the bottle. Normally when I do have my big batches, I just use a pump to fill up the bottle, but we're not gonna get all that out today, just for one bottle. So I will continue to fill this bottle up and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the bottle full. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe the outside with alcohol and then put a label on it. 
All right, you guys, I'm gonna take my whipped shea butter, shea butter, my whipped soap, excuse me, and just measure that out into four ounces. I'm gonna put that in a four ounce container for her. I do have this on a measuring scale right now. Almost there. Should be good, actually. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my sugar in. I'm just gonna whip this up again, you guys. When I use, um, when I'm making a huge batch, I actually will use an actual um, blender. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work with this for a bit, and then I will be back with you. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the scent now. Again, everything is peach scent. That's what he wanted to do for her. Alright, so I'm going to actually put it in this container here. you guys we're gonna go ahead and unmold these this was just the little extra one that I put in here and I'm just gonna stick this on the side of my kitchen sink or something or bathroom sink and use it that looks pretty huh and the smell it smells so good okay so here's hers I did get rid of those bubbles that were here. Look at that. I think that's gorgeous. We just have to clean up the sides a bit. And we'll just smooth these out. All right, so this is the peach soap that we're making for her. So let me show you everything that she is getting for Valentine's Day. So 
we have the soap here. We have the peach body scrub. I'm gonna fix this. this up for you so you have the peach body scrub here oh my goodness you guys the smell is amazing oh I love it so that's her body scrub and then we have her goat milk peach lotion here and to top it all off she will also get a bag of peach rings <laughs> how cute right super cute what a cute gift <laughs> diy valentine's day for my son's girlfriend he really should have been here making this with me huh 